good morning students today we are going to start a new lesson that is the trumpet of the swans now it's reading time first let us read the first page but before that shall we look into the glossary part that is new words part startled startled means being surprised look at this yes this carrot is surprised yes next swamps low areas on the ground where water collects when it rains water collects at the lower points that is called swamp uneasily in an uncomfortable manner look at this swamp is feeling uncomfortable uneasiness yes next gazed looked steadily means looking at some point or something continuously without blinking next one jutted out extended out of a surface look at this children there is pond and you can find a little bit of extended rock part extended rock part within the lake surface within the lake area the rock is extended its part this extended part is called the rock is jutted out intruder means a person who has come in where he does not belong and should not go to for example this earth is belongs to us i mean we are living on earth if aliens come to earth that is intruder got that if we go dive in the sea sea does not belongs to earth we are not habitat of what water we are not water habitats but if we go there down in the sea deep in the sea that is we are we become intruder in the sea got that next one cob a male swan if a swan is male in gender that is cop knock him cold hit him very hard to make him faint look at this the purple man hit him so hard that he become faint that is called as knock him down sorry knock him cold next one bothering bothering means disturbing something next one spellbound spellbound means filled with wonder by the beauty of something for example if you got to see a a very big cake what do you feel you will be surprised you will be wondered isn't it that is called as spellbound so this is all about the new words part that is unit 4 the trumpet of the swans sam bear and 11 year old boy was walking through a forest when he heard a loud trumpet startled he searched the woods and swamps till he found a big nest of two enormous trumpeter swans by a lonely pond in the middle of the forest they were laying eggs sam was filled with wonder because he knew that trumpeter swans were were very rare He returned to the same spot a week later to watch the birds again but the swan could also sense that an outsider was nearby the swan had a strange feeling of being watched she twisted and peered uneasily and gazed intently at the point of land that jutted out into the pond near the nest searching for an intruder What she finally saw surprised her. There was a small boy sitting on a log. He was very quiet and he had no gun. There is a boy on that log. The swan whispered to the cub. The cub was furious. How did he get here? In the heart of the forest. Boys can't fly and there are no roads in the jungle. He shouted. maybe he is lost said the swan quietly anyway he is just observing us 
But what if he throws stones at us? said the cow. Just wait, I'll go and knock him cold with my wing. Now, just wait, don't start a fight, said the swan. He is not bothering us at all. Anyway, I have started this nest and I'll go and lay a full egg now, said the swans. For the next hour, the cob paddled slowly around the tiny island, keeping watch. Sam sat on the log, sorry, Sam sat on the log, spellbound at the sight of these large water birds. After he had watched them for an hour, Sam got up and quietly left. The birds watched him go. Sighing with relief, the swan left the nest and turned to look back. There lying safely on the soft feathers at the bottom of the nest were four eggs. She gazed at them proudly. Practice this how to read and tomorrow we will be getting the explanation part. Thank you.